Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage today. Uh, if you, have, you all happen to see my short that I did earlier in the week, uh, showed you that uh, I had a pile of scrap steel here and we're going to make something out of it. Well, what we're going to make is a welding cart. Um, if you guys want to hang out and check out how I built it, I uh, appreciate it. So I'm going to uh, get to welding. Alright y'all, here's just some of the steel we got. Uh, got a bunch of this square tubing. Uh, these are st off of stuff that I took apart uh, a long time ago. Just had it kicking around. Uh, I've also got a couple bed rails laying around. And I got some of these signs. Well, these signs just happen to be the right size for the welder to sit on. Uh, they're 12 by 18 and I need uh, like 10 and a half by... 17 or 16 so those will be great for the shelves um, Don't really have a, a plan written down yet on uh, as to how I'm gonna build it, but uh, we're gonna build it and I think the first thing we need to do is to cut some of that bed rail uh, To make the bottom frame. I do have two welders now. I've got my Lincoln uh, flux core and I picked up a Miller gas MIG welder uh, solid core wire, so I want to make a cart that both of them can sit on and I can use either one uh, Whenever I want to so um, I need to make room uh, Make the cart big enough so that I can have the the bottle on it, too uh, I was going to use these bottom trays here for something uh, But I kind of changed my mind since these are the right size uh, Like I said these will be great for the shelves um, and I need uh, the bottom I think I need it 26 inches long and we're gonna make it 12 inches wide because that these are 12 inches and the 26 will have enough room for the bottle at the back but then our shelves will be 12 by uh, 18 so uh, yeah I guess the, uh, the only thing to do is to uh, get the cutting and welding so uh, let me get some stuff laid out here and uh, we'll start doing that. All right, y'all, let's get started here. Uh, I'm gonna take these hooks off here. These are the hooks that hook into the bed head board and the foot board. Uh, they're just like kind of riveted on, so I'm hoping I can just kind of grind them off both sides. Use a drift punch and punch them out. And that'll, that'll give us like an extra inch or so there. So uh, let's get to, uh, See if we can get those cut off. So. All right. I actually had to cut down into this thing here a little bit to uh, to get it. So let's see if this works. That's moving. And she's off. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this end, do the other end, and uh, we'll bring y'all back whenever we uh, start trying to figure out something to lay out here. All right, y'all. Uh, I went ahead and measured the, the gas cylinder. Uh, the biggest one that they make is nine inches round. So we're gonna add, uh, I said 26 originally. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and just make it a 28. So that would, that'll that give us uh, roughly 10 inches. And I can use one of these panels and cut it off and you know maybe double thickness. Or you know we'll, we'll come up with something for where the gas cylinder sits. Uh, I got some expanded steel around here somewhere too. Maybe we'll put some of that there for the dirt just falls through. So, but uh, yeah, so 28 inches it is. Uh, we're gonna get a couple of these measured out and uh, get them cut. I was just using this as a as a measuring, you know, layout. See what we need to do. So let's get uh, let's get the measuring here. And uh, got me a brand new silver sharpie. 
I'm going to go 28 inches from that end. And we might as well go 28 inches from this end. And we can just lay it all out at once. And when we have, you know, two cut, one end on each piece that's cut, it might be a little out of square. You know, sometimes my squaring's not uh, the best, so. That one. One of these days, I'll get me a good welding sur surface to weld on. But for right now, we got this. So all right, I'm gonna shut the camera off and get these cut. Uh, I'd like to have a chop saw, but I ain't got a chop saw yet. That's on my list. One, one metal cut off saw, so uh, I'm going to get these cut, and then uh, we'll bring you back because it's noisy and you guys don't need to watch me cut steel. All right, y'all. Uh, there's a good start. Uh, we got that piece cut, and uh, now we just need to cut uh, two more pieces, or four more pieces, I'm sorry, uh, the 18, and this piece here will be just about long enough and I got another one more bed right over there we can cut up so the, for the uh, sides and I think whenever I see this has a short edge and a long edge I think when I weld it up I'm gonna use this as my bottom piece here uh, just to give more stability you know, there's not a lot of weight going on it so I think I'm gonna make my shelves like that and we just need to determine how how high we're gonna come up with it so uh, yeah let me get uh, let me get some pieces cut here I need to get two cut for this bottom and then uh, this will be the base where the wheels go and then there'll be a space with one shelf and then a space and then the other welder will sit on top and uh, I know some of you are probably saying well why don't you just go to Harbor Freight or someplace and buy a cheap one why build it when I can why buy it when I can build it you know I'm getting exactly what I want when I build it so uh, that's basically why I'm I'm building it not buying it so all right let me uh, let me get some more steel cut here and uh, maybe then maybe we'll start uh, burning some stuff together so hang on all right y'all got this kind of fixtured up here uh, I'm gonna kind of tack weld it together uh, I'm using my flux core because I don't have gas or wire for the uh, other MIG. So uh, let's, uh, let's get this tacked together. So. Not bad. Throw this piece of this piece of metal. Except for we messed up. This should have been on the uh, bottom, not the top. So, actually, that corner messed up. Huh. All right. Let me, uh, I'm going to knock that back loose because it ain't that good a weld. And uh, we will. Uh, Reweld it. All right, y'all. Got that all melted together. I say melted because I ain't calling what I did grind welding. Uh, I'm saying melted because it's just melted together. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Next thing is uh, we're gonna start on our first shelf. Uh, 
first I got to figure out what size, how you know what size I, or how high I want it. Um, uh, I want enough room down here I can throw my gloves and stuff. So I'm thinking probably nine inches. Yeah, nine inches sounds good. Uh, actually, let me take some measurements for the two welders because they're gonna stack up. We don't want it too top heavy. And uh, let me get a couple measurements there, and uh, we'll come back. All right, y'all. Kind of got that cleaned up a little bit. Um, I've been sitting here, kind of figuring out uh, what I need to cut. We are gonna. I am gonna go nine inches uh, high on that first shelf. And what I'm gonna do is I'll put a nine inch piece in, a couple rails. I'm gonna leave the front open. Uh, I might put a piece of flat stock underneath but I don't want a lip on the front. Uh, I'll cut uh, two 18 inch pieces out of this and two 12 inch, 12 and a quarter inch pieces out of this and then make like a C shape. I'll weld my nine inch piece up, set my front on there and then uh, in the back, these are long enough. I've got four of them. Uh, I can I can uh, weld them on like that after I cut them off. After I cut them off, and then uh, butt them up against the back side of the shelf, you know, where the where the uh, shelf comes to, and then weld them there, and then the same thing up higher. Uh, at the it's I need 16 inches between the the bottom of the shelf and the where the bottom of the next shelf is for the next welder so uh yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna use one solid piece in the back weld it to the outside i thought about doing it on the front too uh put it on the outside but uh i don't think i'll have quite enough room to get my welder in in past you know once i once i get that welded on there so uh we might, I don't know. Uh, I'll look at it again, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, do the uh, pieces like I had laid out there. Uh, I also thought about welding them in the corners on the inside and then just shift my shelf back an inch to uh, and put the shelf on the inside which that may still be a possibility too. So, yeah. Anyways, that's what we got so far. Uh, I am out of cutting wheels, so I can't cut any more tonight. I'm going to run up to the shop, uh, my daily job shop, and just use our metal cutoff saw and get this stuff cut. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll get back to welding. So, y'all hang out and uh, we'll be back. All right, y'all. Uh, I did go up to the shop, cut all my pieces, and I did decide that I am going to put these in the corners like that, and just move the move the tray back a little bit. Um, this is like one inch, three quarter inch. I'll tell you here in a second. Um, yeah, it's one inch. Uh, moving it back one inch ain't going to affect it. We did leave extra room back here, uh, so. Um, I guess first thing is, uh, we'll get these welded on the front, and then, uh, we'll get the, uh, shelves welded up, and, uh, we'll get to, uh, putting this thing together. Uh, I'm gonna weld this stuff up off camera, you guys, you know, you already seen me weld enough, so. Alright, y'all. Got the first shelf. Got the up front uprights welded in, the back ones are just clamped in, uh, got the first shelf just sitting in here with some magnets and some clamps just to make sure that you know everything's running the way it should, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm getting ready to tack weld it in place, just figured I'd show you guys what I got going on here, uh, I'll put a tack on this side, this side's kind of bowed out a little bit so I'll kind of bring it back in and then uh, we'll be ready to weld it on up even more so uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and tack it in to the front, and then we'll get the back. It's on its line, but it's not on its line, if that makes sense. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're ready to uh, start tacking this stuff together. So I'm going to get that done, and we'll bring you back. All right, guys. I'll show you what we ended up with here. I got the top shelf kind of tacked in. It's not welded fully. Um, the back piece here is a little bit. Uh, I'm running low on the uh, flux core wire, so I just put some good heavy tacks and stuff on them. There's the second shelf. So I can step around this side here and give you a better. Now, uh, see the front's open. The front's open here. Uh, that way I can get my machines slid in. And of course, this one will just sit on top. Uh, if it becomes a problem, I'll put a piece of flat stock. You know between them but I think it's gonna be good and these pieces were already curved so I left them curved so when I sit the tank in here uh, it'll uh, I can have something to chain it to so yeah I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip it upside down on the table I have four wheels casters I'm gonna put on the bottom I might get those tacked on and then uh, we'll bring you back and show you what we ended up with all right y'all I got one wheel mostly welded on, and I am out of flux core. Um, I don't have time to go get any more. Uh, I need to get this video edited and uploaded and for you guys can watch it. So uh, I guess it'll be a part two. So that's what we ended up with. Uh, nice, little, nice little caster. I'm putting four casters on it instead of the standard two casters and two straight wheels. Because I hate my carts at work that have the two straights and the two casters. Because if I want to move the thing sideways a couple inches, you got to jockey it back and forth and everything else. I much prefer just to have it on regular casters. So um, hopefully it works out. It should. So that's it. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for this video. Um, you can see I got the one caster wheel there on. Uh, Sorry I didn't get the whole thing done, but uh, I ran out of MIG wire. And I'm hoping to get regular solid core wire and some gas for the other welder. And I'm going to go over these welds again, do a good weld on them. A uh, lot better than that little uh, flux core does. I mean, the flux core does a good job. I'm just, I'm more of a gas welder. So, um, appreciate you all watching. Please hit that like button if you liked it. And uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And don't forget about Sunday live stream, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Come on in, hang out, and uh, we have a good time. So that's all I got for you today. Hope you all had a great one, and uh, we'll catch you all on the next one.